Hello, this is Simple Traffic System tutorial number three for version 1.0.7. In the first video, we learned how to create this first AI waypoint route with a car on it. And in the second video, we created another route that connected to that first route. So in this video, what we'll do is we'll set up an intersection with a traffic light. So the first thing I'll actually do is I'll create a couple more routes just so I can have a little bit more variety with this intersection. So I'm just going to shift click onto this collider to create some waypoints. I'll create another AI traffic waypoint route and shift click on this road area. And I'm not really trying to be perfectly aligned with these waypoints. They could be placed much cleaner. And I'll load my routes into the route connector again. And I'll select from this point to this point, connect those route points, and I'll unload the routes. Now I have more lanes. And let me just go ahead and assign some spawn traffic vehicles to each of these. The next thing I will do is I'll create a route over in this little section. So I'll shift click. Wow, I'm being really sloppy with these points. Let me just clean that up a little bit. Okay, there we go. That's good enough for the example video. And I will load this route up with some spawn traffic. I'll actually give this one six. And I need to create an intersection. So I will create one more route. And this route, I'll just, I'll do an underscore I. Well, actually what I should do, let me, undo that. Let me create an empty game object and I'll make sure that I reset its position. So this object will hold all of the routes and I'll just duplicate that and this one will hold the intersections. So I'll move all of my routes under there and the intersections will be here. That way I keep them nice and tidy and I know which route is what. So now in this intersection to connect these routes, I just want to define a path for the, the car to travel while he's here. So basically be something like this. Then I could load my routes again and select from this route point to this route point, connect the points. Let me focus in a little bit. And I could select from this route point to this route point and connect the points. And just for demonstration, let me actually turn these two routes off so they don't spawn any traffic. I'm going to unload the routes from the route connector window too, and I will press play. And I just want to verify that the cars actually use this turning lane properly. And they do. Um, they're missing some points. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that they're traveling in a path where they're always going to hit the points. So what I will do here is I will alter these a little bit. And let's press play and see how they drive now. So 
So they're all hitting them, but this point right here, I think that's the culprit. All right, that's much cleaner. They're all hitting the points now. Okay, so our intersection is working. Let's go ahead and re-enable those other routes. And the next thing I'll do is actually, I'm gonna turn the route connector off just so I don't see that UI. And I will select AI Traffic Light Manager. I'll spawn one of those. And this manager, has a AI traffic light as a child. I'll go ahead and focus on that and zoom out. We can see the it's spawning at world zero. So I'm just gonna move this traffic light, which is the child over here. And really what you wanna do is maybe add a prefab to this that would have your your street light pole mesh. You could add that to the prefab. Uh, the way I do it is I'm just I have those mesh objects in the scene already, and I'm basically just moving this traffic light into position. So this is the traffic light manager for this particular intersection. We would create a unique traffic light manager for each intersection. So right now I'm going to duplicate this AI traffic light. I'm just going to kind of rough these into position. They're not going to be perfect, but they'll be good enough. And those are the two lanes that need a signal and this lane needs a signal as well. So We'll duplicate that one more time and pull this over here. We can rotate this into position. All right, so now we have our three traffic lights for the three lanes that are part of this intersection right now. I could wire up more if I was using these other lanes, but I'm not, so I won't. And what we can see is that the AI traffic lights want a waypoint route reference, but I'm gonna use the STS tools. We have a signal connector, and here we can load in all of the lights and the routes. And we could see that we get a, a button above the street light for light, and a button above the final route point for the route. And we'll just press the connect light to route button we could see that connection was made. And when we select that traffic light, we can see that that route is assigned. So now I'll just go ahead and connect these lights as well. So what these lights are gonna do is they're gonna follow this traffic light sequence that's on the traffic light manager. So for this first sequence, these are the lights that will be active at one time. We have the first light assigned. Let me unload these routes from the signal connector and, and just turn that off. Um, we don't need it anymore. So we can see that we have light. Let's just give this light a number. We have light zero one and two. So zero and one are for these two. So we're going to add another traffic light to the sequence index. So we have zero and one, and then we'll create another index. And that index is only going to have traffic light two in it. And we could set the timing for these lights. I'm just going to leave them at their default values. Let's go ahead and press play. So we can see this light over here is green. 
which means that this one over here should be red because these cars are stopped. And that allows these traffic cars to pass through. Let's change the timing a little bit actually. Um, I will let these other cars go through. So once this light turned green, these other two turned red. So I'll adjust the timing of the lights to be shorter. That way we can see a little bit more variety. We'll leave the green timer to let's say five seconds on each of them. And I'll just move this camera into view just so we could see a little bit of each side at once. So now the cars are respecting each other and we have a traffic intersection set up and the cars are taking turns passing through it. And that's how you use traffic lights. Thanks for checking out the tutorial. I'll see you in the next one.